Thanks for joining me for today's video. So I'm here with Jordan. Uh, he's over here just going up that way. My mom in the Starbucks. I'll be out here and vlog in the meantime. I'll be heading down to the Horseshoe Falls. Anyone doesn't know what that is, that's the Canadian side. Of it. The left side of that would be the American side. Sorry to say guys, Canada locked out with those falls. They're fantastic. We've got these huge lights that, that beam across, light up the whole falls. So Jordan and I are still out here waiting. It's been about what? I'd say 10 minutes, Jordan? Yep. It's been about 10 minutes so far. Uh, yeah, and Gail's still nowhere to be found. That's the entrance over there. I think she went down, she said down towards the arcade, but I don't know why, find the closest one available. Is the American? It's the Canadian one. We're right. America's blue. This is a zip line. You probably can't see it, but if you look real close, there's four lines that go across. The entry points up there. People rip down here. I personally would not try that out. I'm afraid of heights. I know it sounds stupid for a YouTuber to be afraid of heights, but guys, it's ridiculously far down there. Uh, I would do that though. There's a helicopter up in the air. I would definitely do a helicopter scenic look because that's different than gliding down a cord with my life. Uh, maybe we'll get a chance to see them zip down. Oh yes we are We're going down right now. Let's see if we can get an angle on this. Holy. That takes some real balls. That would be super sick though, I gotta admit. Right down below. You know what, I might actually try that one of these days when I finally get the courage. But for now, Let's stick down to these boats. We made it. So we're gonna go down here. Gotta let you guys know, I didn't really think I had it. Obviously, there's a lot of water involved in this video, but I uh, wasn't taking consideration in any way to cover my camera at all. So I'm hoping uh, I can get decent footage still without getting the camera completely soaked. Uh, we do get these ponchos, I'm pretty sure. Because I see everybody on those boats with ponchos. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I get mine. Rock that Canadian birch. Red always, guys. So, um, but yeah, we're getting ready to board the boat and, uh, Let's see how this footage turns out. Getting our ponchos! Poncho Woo! Hey, hey thanks. Thank you. Guys, I got my poncho. I'm all set. Rocking the Canadian spirit. Alright. They all got their ponchos too. Let's just see if we can get this on. Probably won't be able to get it on my film, guys, so I'll be right back. Jordan's ahead of me. He's racing me he onto the boat. <laughs> She's complaining about a picture. Guys, I'm trying to get there quick. There's like a hundred of us. Everyone's got their ponchos on. Woo! Stoked for this, guys. We're about to get on the boat. We got our big ponchos. If anyone doesn't know what a poncho is, it's pretty much a garbage bag with just a logo on it. So I think they sell it for like 15 bucks by the Skyline. Definitely a good idea that we got them here. Hopefully my camera doesn't get wrecked out there on the boat. Okay, we're gonna try to go around to the front. We're on the upper deck. It's super wet and slippery, but we'll push our way to the front to get a good view. All right, apparently that means we're starting, guys. Hopefully we don't get seasick. It's already pretty rocky. The current is crazy. For your safety, please do not stand on the benches. Do not climb, sit, or stand on the rails. So you heard the captain. Keep your hands in the boat. No crazy monking around. My mother and I are just going to be over here next to the rail at the front of the boat being real safe. Jordan's over here. He's going to be getting some shots for his Instagram as well. He's a photographer. So check out his page when you get a chance. Jordan shot 220. So guys, if you can't hear the guy on the, on the speaker, 180 feet he said. No daredevil has ever gone over the American Falls. Just our Canadian ones over there. Because as you can see all these ferocious rocks below. It's crazy windy out here right now. <laughs> I can't even get my poncho together. Uh, we're coming across the American Falls over here. Left of me. It's a lot harder than it looks to get footage out here. So make sure you like and subscribe below guys. This is the moment you guys have all been waiting for. We are at the Canadian Falls. It is crazy windy out here. The rapids are intense. Looks like there's like a whirlpool over there. And uh, you can see the horseshoe. It's 
crazy out here. Everyone's getting soaking wet. The camera's getting crazy wet. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film much longer. My mom had the poncho over her face half the time, as you can see, her hair is just sprayed all that. I'm completely soaked. Uh, the camera survived though, guys. Um, we're on our way back. Future reference, anybody trying this, make sure you bring a waterproof case for your camera. I think all of us are gonna have big expensive camera bills or phone bills uh, if they didn't survive the weather. Now we're docking and it's time for the next journey. Who knows what it's gonna be. We'll have to punch up some in a couple minutes. So that concludes my voyage on the horn blower. The Americans made of the mist over there. Well worth the money. Got the crazy hair to go on. All my gel for today is pretty much washed out. Enjoyed it guys, I'm not gonna lie. I went out here once before, I think it was uh, three years ago with my girlfriend and my mom. They got a lot closer, not like directly underneath like I did one time. Uh, we were just completely soaked. Luckily, I uh, covered the cameras, so that's what counts. I'm excited to see what else I've got in store for today. And I'm super hungry, so I'm gonna look for a restaurant. I haven't eaten since uh, 10 o'clock. This is definitely a true Canadian gift shop. Every animal you see here is from Canada. You got the moose, the beaver, a couple bears, some moccasins. Canadian merch. Oh, I actually like this one. Under Armour. Now, that's the exit from the boat. They file us all in here like cattle into the gift shop so that we're going to spend all of our money because Canadians are about living in the moment and getting exciting stuff. And the words of my mother, I gotta buy something for memories. So now that's what we're trying to avoid. My mom was thinking of Stelby since when I was younger, that's why I know. You heard it from my mother. I have to say, Mom, your hair does look fantastic after that boat ride. What would you call that? Canadian Falls style? She did her hair, guys. She took an hour to get ready. It was all for that. I just want to get out of this place. We managed to come across the border, and now we're at Olive Garden. Super delicious pasta place. I'm really stoked about it. He was wanting to go to Denny's for some breakfast for dinner. It wasn't about that right now. So we managed to flip to our Olive Garden. I was about a 10 to 15 minute wait, so I figured I might as well show you guys where we decided to go across. I'm too hungry, I haven't eaten since like 9 a.m. Jordan, are you excited for Olive Garden? He was excited just for breakfast for dinner. It's Denny's, but uh, I convinced us to come over here to Olive Garden. Super happy about that. 10 to 15 minute wait though. I don't know what I'm gonna do to keep myself busy. Ah, I guess I'll just sit here and talk to myself. Talk to all you guys. Feel free to comment below. Tell me if you've been to Olive Garden, if you recommend it. Guys, I think I'm gonna go in there and grab some food. I'm starving. So we're all done at Olive Garden. I got to go stuff. I got some sweet tea as well. Super excited to have this later on. Yeah, I think this was definitely worth the trip. Uh, we managed to accomplish a lot of our stuff. So uh, it was a good day.